안녕하세요 여러분 오늘의 영상은 It has been a few weeks since I've actually stood in front of my camera so excuse me for being like possibly a little bit awkward but anyways um, today I'm here to bring you my unpopular opinions um, I noticed that my lock videos get a little bit more views and a little bit more interaction than my other vi videos but I also want to try, you know, delving into other things that other people do on YouTube, like such as unpopular opinions. So, I'm combining the two. Today, I'm going to tell you about my unpopular opinions about locks. So, if you are interested in hearing about that, go ahead and hit the like button, you know, because just like it. Just like it now. You like it, just like it. Also, you know, if you would go ahead and subscribe, that would be even better, um, because... All my videos have me in them, and you know. <laughs> so anyways, um, without further nonsense, let's get into the unpopular lock opinions. My first unpopular opinion about locks is lock sprinkles are ugly. Ugh, I said it. Oh my gosh. So if you have lock sprinkles, Please don't feel like I'm saying your hair is ugly. I don't like that accessory. If you make lock sprinkles, I'm not saying stop making lock sprinkles. Obviously, that is a money making, you know, thing. And if you put care into your craft, you know what? Freaking do that craft. Make those lock sprinkles. Ladies, if you like lock sprinkles, wear those lock sprinkles. I'm not. I'm not, and here's why. I think they look like sparkly dandruff. Um, they definitely are reminiscent of flakes, but, you know, shiny. Um, so, for me, I find that lock sprinkles are ugly. Now, I don't say this to offend nobody, but, I mean, low-key, unpopular opinions always offend somebody, don't they? So, I said it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, it's no hate, no shade to anybody. If you like it, do it. It's like if I said, I don't know, hats are ugly. That shouldn't stop you from wearing hats if you like hats. It's, it's just what I don't like. And that brings me to the next unpopular lock opinion, which is the word dreadlocks or dreads is not an offensive term. <laughs> rocking the boat I know because a lot of y'all are already typing can you let me finish before you start typing um I because I, I already feel it you guys start typing it is offensive du -du 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 -du. history know your worth dreads I my hair is not dreadful I know your hair is not dreadful in the sense of how we use that term today however um I've heard some stories that cannot be backed up by facts and I would just like to share a couple of them here. I once had somebody tell me that the reason the term dreadlock is offensive is because white people came to Africa, saw dreads on somebody, said, ugh, that's dreadful, and then so forth, we call them dreads because white people said so. That's I, I have seen no evidence of that being true. That's a made up story. Somebody made up that story. If you now find evidence that that's actually true, a citable source, I will retract that opinion. If you can prove to me that it's offensive, I'll take it back. But as far as I know, black people, we made up the term dread for dread. And here's why, okay? Because originally, as I won't say that black people or Rastafarian, Rastafarian people made up this hairstyle. I won't say that. I don't know that for a fact. But what I do know is that in that religion, they refer to their hair as dreads. Why? Well, if you look back at the historical connotation of the term dread, 
it's actually used the same way as the historical connotation of the word fear which was respect honor it's like something above respect actually for example if you look in the bible it still says you are meant to fear the lord your god right doesn't mean be afraid of him it means look upon him you know as higher than you and like respect him and honor him and do what you're supposed to do in the bible right it's the same thing as that to dread something didn't mean to find it disgusting repulsive and be afraid of it it meant to respect and honor and find and hold it above other things that's what dread meant so if you use the historical connotation or if you're gonna say back in the day this happened and then that's why dread is an offensive term you'd be literally incorrect it was not an offensive term bam here's the dictionary thing that proves it I'm gonna put it on the screen because I looked it up I did my research and that's what I got now once again I will say if you can prove with citable sources and evidence that I am incorrect in that I will retract my opinion F my opinion anyways who whose opinion is not changeable some things are facts <laughs> and those are not changeable but it's just my opinion that the term dread is not offensive and I have not found any historical or cultural um, reason to find it so uh, that being said you can call your hair what you want to I might call my hair dread sometimes locks sometimes dread locks sometimes micro locks sometimes tiny locks sometimes I'm gonna call my hair whatever I want to call my hair and when I call my hair what I want to call it, I don't want nobody coming at me saying, don't call it that. I'm going to call my hair what I want to. However, you have that same freedom, okay? And I won't call your hair dreads if you find it offensive. Next, my last, my third and final unpopular opinion. Lock brushing. Lock brushing is kind of a weird term here's why <laughs> um, don't look at my nails here's why I'm not saying don't brush your locks in fact I do on occasion brush my locks what I'm saying is why is it called lock brushing is it different than just brushing isn't it just brushing you're brushing your hair you're not lock brushing your hair you're brushing your locks you're brushing your hair I'm just saying because I see people talk about lock brushing like it's a separate thing from brushing and I find it weird and in fact it's kind of a pet peeve for no reason it's kind of like how some people don't like when I say the word dreadlocks like they that that's a pet peeve for some people and understandably so well kind of <laughs> that's different because dreads is just as short as locks and where do you think the word locks came from the word dreadlocks like just saying but this on the other hand the word brush brushing didn't come from lock brushing I don't know it's just a pet peeve it's just a little thing that doesn't really matter well that's kind of what an opinion is it's just a little thing that I think that doesn't really matter so keep all that in mind while you watch this video is that my opinion doesn't really matter it's just it's just what I think but anyways I hope people were not triggered too badly by my unpopular opinions but I also kind of hope you were because um, I need more comments on my videos so this is how I get it this is how I get it anyways thank you so much for watching if you watched it to the end I'm excited about that. I appreciate that. I love that. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel for more content, including me. Not all of my content is about locks, but I'm in all of my content. So if you want to see more of me, please subscribe. So, bye.